well good morning um listen i'm so super stinking excited about what is going on right now um i was driving on my way into work and um i just wanted you to know that i was hands free um uh i'm not driving and uh doing nothing strange for no strange um but um god is doing something so ridiculously awesome um i was on my way into work and i was listening to cora jakes coleman and her title of her message it was is uh he's about to make me laugh and she was talking about um abraham and sarah and just uh just doing some awesomeness right well la 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 wouldn't you know it she um she's doing her message i'm listening see i got my headset so i was listening and oh my gosh i was in front of two of the slowest vehicles ever and it was taking me in right and i was like oh my gosh i'm getting ready to get over and the lord was like well just stay in your lane stay right here and i was like i don't really want to stay right here because there's some slowation going on and nobody's moving i don't want to be right here hello so the lord again says just stay right here so i look up and it is an older guy uh and he's just driving around in his automobile he's feeling real great and i'm like oh my gosh and the lord said you know what stay right here so the, that guy goes on to his other route and i'm like yay so then here comes another older couple in front of me and they have even more slowation going on and God was just telling me, he said, I'm teaching you how to last. How you last is by learning how to stay on course. You have to learn how to stay where I put you. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is great stuff. So I'm listening and I'm listening because it's, it's really good stuff. And um, he starts talking to me about connections. And he said, people wonder why stuff starts shifting and changing in their life. And it's because they keep on changing lanes. They keep on moving out of the place that I told them to be in. And I was like, oh, okay, I get it. And he said, if your connections, if the relationships that you have with your connections is greater than your relationship with the God that has given you these connections, then you're about to get a rude awakening. There's going to be some shifting going on and there's going to be some rearranging because God is going to realign some of the things that are going on in your life because God is a jealous God. He wants our complete total attention. And guess what? In this season, we need him to have our complete and total attention. It is about to go down. I know you see my post about watching it work. It's all working for our good and it is about to go down. I know some people have been like, I've been waiting, I've been trusting, I've been praying. Ah, okay, I get it, me too, hey! We've been doing this thing together and guess what? I'm watching it work. Sometimes we get in a place where we're like, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm, I'm trusting, believing and then we start doubting. It's not a time to doubt. It's a time to go straight in to the king's court. Remember Esther? When Esther was like, listen, guess what? I'm really not really cut out for this. I'm not going to the king unannounced and he didn't invite me. Well, guess what? She went anyway. And because of who she was in the king's life, he granted her some supreme access. What could have cost her her life because she was bold and because she was confident. The Bible says the righteous are bold as a lion. We just go forth and we just do it. I'm telling you that your willingness to be tenacious in this season is about to get your blessings unlocked. I'm talking about stuff that you have been, I, I'm telling you, I put something before God. I went to one of my mentors and I said, listen, I need you to stand in agreement with me because uh, there's some things that make me want to crackle and pop on the inside. I'm sure you get there. I ain't no nutball and everything ain't falling apart. Ain't nothing wrong. We gonna be all right. But there's some things that you get to a point where you like, uh, we gonna touch and we all gonna agree on some stuff because I need some stuff to change riggedy right now. Not tomorrow, not the next day. I need it to change riggedy right, right, right now. Okay, 
and I went before the Lord. I know they went before the Lord with me and I watched something switch overnight. I watched God begin to, I mean, it was like God pushed it into overdrive and he went in and he did some stuff for me. I'm not talking about this little itty bitty teeny weeny short, short stuff. I'm talking about my dad went into overtime for his daughter because he loves me. If he loves me, he loves you too. Because the Bible talks about how for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. He didn't give up his son just for me. He gave up his son for us. And it is time for us to go to the king and tell the king what we want. And in telling the king what we want and staying in position, stay your course. I know it looks crazy. For me, it looks like um, some bull duty. Yeah, it looks like some bull duty. It looks like um, this is not supposed to be happening and I really don't know why it's happening. But because I know who God is, I know the God that healed me. I know the God that delivered me. I know the God that transformed me. I wasn't always like this. I was a hot, stinking, nasty mess. And God saw fit to love me enough to pull me up out of that trash bin I was in. You can't tell me my God won't do some stuff. You hear what I'm saying? And I just want to encourage you and let you know that it is about to go down. If you can stretch your faith to this next place. Take your faith up a whole nother notch and watch God move. I'm telling you, it's about to go down. Prophets have been saying it. It's been all across the board. It is about to go down. I'm telling you, trust God like you've never trusted him before. Hold on to God like you've never held on to him before because it is about to go down. Watch God work. Have a blessed day.